Welcome back in time now for our community update this morning. And joining us for the first time this morning is Shawano County Sheriff Adam Bieber. Thanks for joining us. Oh, absolutely. Thank you. All right, Sheriff, let's start off with the mask mandate. Like many law enforcement departments, you're not enforcing it. Could you explain why? Oh, absolutely. You know, a lot of people ask me, hey, Bieber, you know, you enforce seatbelt laws. Why can't you enforce a simple mask law? And the, and the, the easy answer is this. You know, there's no exceptions for seatbelts, except if, you know, the legislature wrote in the law enforcement, uh, they don't have to wear seatbelts, apparently, and uh, delivery truck drivers. So there's only two exceptions to that, and those are very easy to pick out. But there's quite a few exceptions for folks not to have to wear a mask. They legally don't have to if they have legal reasons. And there's, there's quite a few legal reasons why they don't have to. So it really makes it difficult for law enforcement to determine if that, fo if that person has a legal reason or not a legal reason. And a lot of pe folks don't understand that you need probable cause to stop someone and question them a lot of times and, and hold them and make them identify mm -hmm. themselves. Uh, if we were to do that, we would really cause a lot more uh, harm than good in this situation. And I really believe education is best. Um, let the public know what, what they should be doing, what we should be seeing out there. Uh, but I also believe in personal responsibility and folks making their own choice for their health care needs. Okay, well, most of Wisconsin is seeing a high surge in positive coronavirus cases. How is Shawano County faring? And you have testing sites scheduled. Where and who can go? Yeah, absolutely. We, we, we've seen the spike just like everybody else in the state, uh, especially in northern Wisconsin, northeastern Wisconsin. Um, it's definitely spreading, and we uh, obviously we anticipated that. Everybody knew that was going to happen when schools open up, when people go back to work, when things go back to normal. Uh, that's what viruses do. It's the natural progression. Um, we do have testing. Testing is important. We really want to make sure that we uh, protect our elderly in our nursing homes. Uh, but anybody can show up for this testing here in Shawano County. It's November the 3rd at the old Lakeland building at 504 Lakeland Road here in Shawano County. Anybody can be tested. Uh, you don't have to make an appointment. And uh, you can call our health department uh, to get more information at 715-526-4803. And Sheriff, how has the pandemic specifically affected your department? Well, you know, uh, just like everybody else, uh, we, we have employees that are getting sick uh, and we have to, you know, our other employees have to fill in. But, uh, you know, it, it's really changed the way we interact with the public. Uh, we, we've been trying to be very careful. We, we meet people outside of buildings uh, to try and make sure that nobody's getting infected. Um, which makes our job a little bit challenging because a lot of the times we go places, you know, if, if we're assisting EMS, we have to go inside buildings. Um, if there's a domestic violence that usually happens inside of a building. So it's really changed how we do things. Um, uh, but, you know, we've seen a, a spike in domestic violences. We've seen a lot of alcohol related uh, crimes, a lot more OWI arrests. Um, we've seen a 400% increase in suicides here in Shawano County. Uh, so uh, the lockdowns and the pandemic and the virus has had a toll on everything here in Shawano County and Wisconsin. Where can people go to get help? Well, our human services here in Shawano County has a great team uh, that can provide help for mental health issues and uh, drug abuse or, you know, substance, substance abuse. Uh, so we encourage people to contact our human services, 715-526-3240. Uh, and listen, there's a lot of people that are down and out. They're fair, they're scared. Uh, they fear what's going on out there. Um, they don't know what's what to do. Um, they feel lost. A lot of people have, are out of jobs. Uh, I just want to encourage our public. Uh, listen, your life does ha does matter, and uh, your life does have meaning. Uh, you are important, and uh, get help. Uh, get help before, and you know, make the right decision. And real quick, Shawano has not canceled trick-or-treating yet. What are some safety tips for parents? Well, listen, parents are responsible for your kids' safety. And we, we expect parents to stay with their kids as they move throughout the community. We, ex we really want our uh, kids and parents to do their trick-or-treating during the, during the daylight hours. Um, so parents stay with the kids. Kids stay with the group that they're in, stay together. Um, and then more importantly, we, we want to make sure that Parents check all the candy before it's even consumed. It's really important. Uh, you've heard of cases where, uh, you know, people are dropping uh, 
bad things in these candy bags. So make sure you go through all that before uh, you consume it. Thank you so much for joining us today, Sheriff. Oh, absolutely. Thank you, Shelly.